Barry Kay is supposed to be with us today, but he's unable to. He's down. That's right. He's actually going to be playing tonight as a student showcase at the Coffee House at Coffee and Canvas. That's in Rogersville. So go out and join him. It's from 7 to 9 p.m. And join us right now, Mark Yarbrough. Mark, in his first campaign race ever. First ever. First, first, first ever. ever. Running yes. for Limestone County Commission Chairman. Got a free event coming up tomorrow. Tell us all about it. Well, we're going to have a campaign kickoff at Sheriff's Rodeo Arena tomorrow between 11 and 2. We're cooking right at 30, 16 pound pork shoulders and all our yard signs are finally in. We've had so many people request yard signs and we're hoping Man, for... Sheriff Blakely. He can't keep it up. Huh? I know. I know. <laughs> well, we put up, I have put up my uncle Jeff, Jeff Yarbrough, we put up 142 or three of the, the four by eight signs all across the county. Oh, yesterday we went up through Ardmore, cut across on Bethel Road over to see Don. Your signs are everywhere out yes, there. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, Sheriff sure Blake said his biggest problem is running for re-election for the hundredth time is he can't get enough signs. That's a good problem to have. That's a great problem to have. And we've got over 1,600 yard signs that's come in. And Why did you decide to run against Stanley Menifee for the chairman of the limestone? And Stanley's done a good job. And he's seeking re-election. Why did you decide to take on such a big chunk here? You know, our campaign's about fiscal accountability and responsibility. You know, by having a plan. You know, Limestone County don't have a 10-year plan, a five-year plan. We really don't have a two-week plan. We continue to, to buy and renovate, tear That's down. That's my next spend. question. Are you going to be buying more buildings that we're not going to be buying some people say buildings. aren't needed? We're not going to be buying any more buildings. Got enough. I think so, don't you? Limestone County is the uh, third fastest growing yes. county in the state of Alabama, 60-something yes, right. nationwide. What do you attribute that to? The city of Huntsville and Madison. The city of Madison's residential growth, city of Huntsville is going to be some residential, more industrial. You know, I, I went to a, an economic conference. First National Bank has this marketing team that yeah. comes in and does research 22 states a year and city of Madison is actually an anomaly. They don't even use it in their marketing because their property values and sales states are high. But we've been a follower. Limestone County has turned into a follower the last two or three years or four years. So I want to lead. We want, we want to lead and be growing for course Limestone County. It's a great place to live, great place to raise your family. And we want to promote that. You're Bring from industry. Limestone County, born and raised. Born and raised. Been here 51 years. Now, if you have to voice some criticism of the current leadership in Limestone County, what would that be? Fiscal responsibility. You know, well, all right, you purchased the LNS property. Regardless of whoever voted for it, nobody can find anybody voted for it now, but it was voted for involved, <laughs> okay? You, the budget that's, that's put in the newspaper is $300,000 to renovate the fridge. I had my building. picture made with Dick Smith yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I know Dick well. <laughs> but anyway, so it comes in at 350000 so we say, no, we're not going to spend the extra 50000 to renovate this 30-year-old building, 35-year-old building. We're going to go two miles down the road, buy a better living building, spend a million, between a million one and a million two, to renovate that 35-year-old building. Nobody does that, Jamie. No, if you bought a used car and said, well, it's going to well, take a thousand. Limestone County's got plenty of money. Well, I, <laughs> I personally believe Limestone County doesn't have an income problem. It has a management problem. Under your management, when you are elected, what changes can we expect? As far as changes, we're becoming more fiscally manageable. We're going to quit. We're going to eliminate wasteful spending. That's what we're going to do. We become more efficient. We're going to take all the revenue and expenses that Limestone County has coming in every day. We're going to put it to use for all the people in Limestone County every day, all day. Well, Mark, it's good to see you again. I go back a long way with you. Please yeah. go to my Facebook. My wife keeps up her Facebook. It's Mark Yarbrough. Is she I, working for you? <laughs> Are you it's working the other for way around. <laughs> <laughs> you should have her on here. All right, so coming up tomorrow, 11 o'clock, out at Sheriff's Arena on Highway 90. Please come Free out. Free lunch, come out and enjoy. A lot of good inter entertainment by you out there tomorrow. Thank you. All right, Mark Yarbrough, Chairman. All right, bud. good luck, Mark. We'll Thanks, see you again sir. before that. Hang on. Thank All you. right, let's go back. Y'all ready? Christ, and we'll come back. Just a second. Zorro, somebody's got to get control of this wild animal, Rick. All right, guys, hit it. By the way, how are we getting to the castle? A wheat shop bed, slagging, bagging, suchin, fuchin. What's that? A hayride. Oh. Spirit of the 
sagging, just jump in a bag and end up. Who's not too resistant to play? So let's roll, 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 roll in the hay. Roll, roll in the hay. You're the lady, you're the lady. Roll in it, roll in it. You're the lady, you're the lady. Roll in it, roll in it. Come take a hay ride, I'll take your breath away. Ride, roll in it, roll in the hay. Girl, come here a second. This young lady here celebrating, what's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, your birthday, you will be what, 17, 18, and what, 30 minutes from right now? Uh, something like that. Yes, Happy sir. birthday. Oh, thank you. On live TV, right here. There you go. Happy birthday. Do you know anything about when they're doing all this stuff at Priceful? Um, April 25th, 26th, and 27th. Do you need tickets to get in, or can you just walk in and sit down? Yeah, we need tickets. Okay, you need tickets. Where do you get them? Um, you can buy them from us. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go out with them in just a second. Right now, let's talk to the wise men. That's Rick, right. you got something going on at Emmanuel Baptist tomorrow, and congratulations on the Fillers Convention. Mm -hmm. What tell us about about Cody being there tomorrow? Cody's going to be there at 7:30. Going to have breakfast all set up, and Cody's going to speak sometime around 8 o'clock. And uh, come out and hear him speak. What time will he be leaving? In case I can get over and get an interview with him. I, I, it, we'll probably finish up by there's, between 8:30 and 9 o'clock. There's some other little event going on tomorrow. I got to be there at 7:30. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't it? know. It's slipping your mind right now. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> so we'll be downtown. So. We'll We'll, we'll start setting up in the morning early, but the race will start at 8, so, um, and, uh, you know, come out and run with us. It's, uh, if you haven't registered, it's not too late. You can sign up this afternoon at 4 at the store from 4 to 7. Can you, you sign up tomorrow? You can sign up tomorrow at 7 a.m. We'll take registration right. at 7 a.m., so. And also, don't get it's going to be crowded down tomorrow once Matthew's, they're probably, why is there finishing the hospital is having some <laughs> Hey, Julia. I love it when a blonde runs. Yeah, right. Well, it's all right. Just turn me off a little bit, but I'll get used to it. Tom, what's it like living in the Health on the Square tomorrow? The hospital also comes on taking advantage of Matthew down there tomorrow, so there'll be plenty of people down there. Yes. What's it like living in the house now with the general manager of uh, Chick-fil-A franchise? <laughs> Well, I'm privileged to have that opportunity. Uh, are you still eating a bunch of Chick-fil-A? I have, yeah. I want to give a shout-out to y'all's new preacher down at the Methodist Church. Yeah. Kenny Baskins is an old friend of mine and glorious. He's a big Bama fan, Rick, he is. from over that way. While I'm speaking of churches, let me invite all y'all to Lindsay Lane Baptist Church coming up on Hall Halloween. Uh, Easter <laughs> next weekend, a week when this is Palm Sunday, next week, uh, it'll be two services. Dusty will be doing one. I'll be doing the other one. 
I was going to see if I was paying attention. You're paying attention. You're not. But, uh, <laughs> no Sunday school that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Who's service it? Don't get to get Dusty's new book, too. It's available okay. down at the uh, church. I'll be writing mine before yeah, long. So about five or ten years, I'll come out with mine. So we'll kind of we'll go from there. Long. Tom, anything else you'd like to add to this great, outstanding program this week? Well, I hand it to you. You had a good show today. Huh? Very good show. And i got to ask you, it's been a year, basically, since you uh, fell ill on us. And mm -hmm. it's about a year, and you're not getting paid for those appearances you didn't make. Yeah. So are you in much better health now? Well, I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I am. Thank, thank the Lord. Oh, I forgot to mention, Rick. Right. Sorry the Notre Dame girls got beat the other night. Losers. Oh. Uh, went all undefeated mm -hmm. yeah. and got beat, what, 20 points? Yeah, it was a beat oh. down. Uh, are you yeah, ready for football? Yeah. I'm Do you expect y'all to win more than <laughs> five games this year? <laughs> yeah. He expects that every year. Right. Let me ask you about your son, Luke. Luke was damaged. Yeah, look, yeah. look, I, it Baseball. could have looked, was it worse than it, it looked worse than it actually was. It? It, well, it was pretty bad, but he's doing great. He's he's healed up. He's, so he's back, and again, he's back, yeah. He's, yeah, he's back throwing again, so right, he's anything? doing well. If you're into archery, our friend Chris Brooks is having a tournament coming up, so you can contact him for additional information, but it's an archery competition. His number is 682-2696. I need some more concrete around that uh, pool I, I'm just putting in. <laughs> Matthew, Make you need to invest in those, man. Portable swimming pools? That's a that's a great idea, man. We should have we should have thought of this a long time One ago. I, well, yeah. I'd state it from that guy's on Facebook anyway. <laughs> that's right. He, he doesn't have a patent. Yeah, yet. that's a I like that. Reminds me of something that's something my dad would do if he was still alive. <laughs> oh, I ain't kidding. That's something he would do. Of course he'd have to Not start jumping to up and down because he'd probably drown in it. But uh, that's the way it goes. All right, Matthew, last time. Anything else about tomorrow? The weather's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, beautiful weather. Come out and run with us. It's all for a good cause for Bridge of Hope. So See you um, at but, yeah, seven AM you can register if you haven't yet. So or come by right. the store today, four to seven. Priceful, they got one more thing to do. It's a short one in here this morning, and they are made up for this. There Hit it! Three, two. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Right. Different types who wear a day coat, pants with stripes, and cutaway coat perfect fits. up like a million dollar trooper trying hard to look like Gary Cooper Jake Come let's mix for Rockefellers walk with sticks or umbrellas in their mitts